and welcome back again. I found that doing videos in specific, um, I'm doing actual cuts, I'm noting the cuts when I'm talking, is leading to quite erratic video lengths because I can't really focus on the timestamp all the time. I've got to do other things. Anywho, we could do that. We could do that. We're actually going to do neither of those. We're actually going to have a look at our level 2 tenets. And as you can see, there are some really, really nice ones in here. Total War is very handy, but like I said, I intend to buy most of my units, so it's not quite as helpful as you would think. That is very handy. Lightning Warfare, when you get to land ship, is incredibly useful, but I haven't got to land ships, and I don't tend to use lots of land ships, so I'm thinking it's probably not the best thing to do. I'm actually thinking to go for another level 1 tenet, and now go for mobilization. So I'm going to do that, because it makes buying the units cheaper, which is what we're going to do. And when you're playing the marathon game, units cost a hell of a lot of money. So it is very important for us to you know, try and cut down the cost wherever possible. I should say it's more than very important, it is the key. Only chumps build their units unless they have an absolute powerhouse for production city, which unfortunately I do not. My capital by capital standards is good but not great. There's a few things going for there's just not enough food. Mostly. It's got good production, but pretty average food. Because I'd rather have had a lot of these be just mines rather than farms on hills. But I've not really had much of an option. I should really build a few more of, um, archaeologists as well when I get around to it. Now, I could... Oh, that's not a bad thought. I could um, use the... I could use Oxford University to bulb myself, um, bulb dynamite. That could be pretty useful. That could be a really good play, actually. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to stop it automatically going for dynamite. That's a re I wish I'd thought of that idea sooner. That's actually really clever. And what we're going to do now is start moving our units. We're going to gradually move them over here. The only thing that's going to suck is that I believe I have a caravan um, trade routes. I believe I can check it. Trade route overview here. Yeah, I don't really want to attack him until that runs out because there's no point wasting a caravan. And it's actually a very lucrative caravan. So I'm making 22 gold per turn and a science at some point. I'm getting a earning as well. So, that's pretty important. So I will definitely wait until that's finished. Even though I could, in theory, attack him a lot sooner. It's not worth it to me. I don't think, however, that I have to leave a huge army um, up here. I think I'll have to leave a little bit. So that if I do happen to get backstabbed, I can actually fend it off. I don't think I need a particularly enormous army um, by the Greek border anymore. The only thing that's kind of sucky now I think about it is that uh, technically I have a Greek border here as well. Although, again, I don't think they'll really attack me there. Again, there's potential for famous last words. I will upgrade this pikeman eventually probably into a lancer. Because... Even though I'm, I'm not a big fan of Lancers, but having one is usually quite helpful. And I want to upgrade these crossbows into um, Gatling guns. Unfortunately, when you upgrade crossbows into Gatling guns, they lose one range. Which is sucky. It is pretty sucky. But they take on a different purpose once they become Gatling guns, because they can actually take hits quite well. Their unit strength goes up to 30, I think. It used to be higher than that, but they had to balance it out. Yeah, it changes to 30, which is 
not as strong as a rifle, but it is very competitive. It is, for example, from what I can remember, stronger than a Lancer. So we completed the factory there. Get that done. Yeah, I think we might actually end up accidentally winning culturally. Which, like I said last time, tends to happen quite a lot. We're already influential over the Celts. We are really catching up on the Aztecs and the Russians. They like our gold, that is irrelevant though. If they weren't where they are, I would actually leave Darius until last. Because no, I don't have much of a preference for animated computer projects, but I do like to try and treat this like a serious game. In that Darius, even though he's a computer, sorry, I just had to uh, take my jumper off, I was getting way too hot. Darius, the computer's being nice to me, so I try to be generally quite nice to him back up to a point until I backstab him, obviously, but I try and treat the AI as if they're almost computer like. That's just the way I am. I feel like I get more immersed in the game that way. I won't say very well, because if I put you paying, you'll pay in time. There's an increased chance he'll attack me, and I really do not want him to attack me right now. I really don't mind giving you gems, you'll probably get destroyed anyway. Yeah, the one I've, I want everybody to be at war with everybody else when I attack Darius, because I don't want anybody to try and counter-attack against me. That would be... Not disastrous, because I have the most advanced army, but it would not be ideal. The key to war in any game, really, but it's especially true in Civ, is that you only want to attack one person at a time. Because if you try and bite off more than you can chew, you're going to end up really running out. And even though my army is potentially as big as everybody else has put together, the problem lies in that... I'd have to defend on multiple fronts and therefore split my army up. Yep. That's a good quote, that. Now, we don't want to go for dynamite, because that's what we're planning to do. Could go for rifling, it would solve the issue of having to attack him with muskets, but... Really, I want to try and get the Eiffel Tower. It's worth a lot of culture. Well, kind of. It's worth a lot of tourism, and it's worth five happiness. I think it used to be... I can't remember, I think it used to be worth quite a lot of culture before the um, latest updates, as in the latest expansion pack rather than the patch. I miss when games didn't need patches. I remember when, when you bought a game, it worked. Because if it didn't work, there would be... Such a big outcry, I suppose, for lack of a better term, that, you know, you'd have to deal with it. Um, Colosseum, please. That's fine. Um, so puppets will make a trading post. Puppets will always try and prioritise making money, even if they're, you know, you've chosen to try and make them not do that. They will do it, that's what they do. Might as well start by upgrading a couple of them, getting them all rolling. I usually use Gatling guns as just sponges for damage. Because I don't really like them. They, they are useful when defending, but they are not useful when attacking. Well, the siege conditions, when you're under attack, they are very useful indeed. But when you're on the offensive, they are just rubbish. They don't tend to do very well against cities. They only have a range of one, so they get in the way of your gunpowder and melee units. They're really quite heavily flawed. Now, because we get Oxford University, we get our free tech, which obviously is going to be dynamite. Like so. And what we're going to do now is try and build Brandenburg Gate. Because it's worth two science points. And we'll probably get beaten to it, to be honest. 
Actually, what I can do is check if Persopolis is trying to build it. The answer is no, he's going for a caravan. Is Sparta going for it? No, he's trying to build, he's building muskets. So I think I may have a shot at it, potentially. Can I increase my production? I can. By doing this. I want to lock that in, by the way. Okay. 28 turns is a reasonable length of time. I get, I'm getting a great engineer relatively soon, so I could just push it along, but I don't want to do that. I want to save that for something else. But what I am going to do is... I could buy... I'm going to do that first. Yes, it costs a lot of money to buy it up front, but it's helpful. Because it means now when I buy this artillery, for example... The artillery has 45 experience. So not only can I get two upgrades, but I'm halfway towards the third. And if I get Brandenburg Gate and I build units there, I will get three levels worth of upgrades before I've even used it. Which is really good. Greece has denounced Persia. What a bloody surprise. The problem I've got, the best way to attack somebody is to antagonize them. But the issue with that here is that everybody hates Greece. So having Darius attack Greece will not antagonize Darius for anybody else other than Greece. But Greece already hates everybody. It's actually quite a complex system we've got for diplomacy here. Because Monty's at war with two people, including Persia, so it actually might not be a bad time to attack Persia if I wanted to. However, he's friends with me, but it's minus 51 turns, so I wouldn't break the friendship pact. The problem is that Boudicca is friends with Persia, Catherine is friends with Persia. Albeit, minus two turns there, and my, oh, let me think. Can I get you to attack Catherine? I can. That is important. You're already at war with Monty, and I'm not going to make you declare war on me, obviously. And Ashrapur and Hiawatha don't exist anymore. I'm presuming you'll do this for like basically a pocket change, which is true, because Boudicca is the weakest player in the game. Oops. Presumably you will do this as well. That is of no use to me. Unless I combine it like this. Now this could produce an interesting dynamic. Oh wow. <laughs> He's so willing to do that that he'll actually pay me. Crap, he really likes that deal. That deal's all I need. Although, now that I think about it, I would rather... do that. Ooh, crud! That's what pushes the boat over. Oh, wow. Oops, not horses, he doesn't want horses. What about this? Wow. Okay. I really don't want any of his stuff, that's the problem. This is really annoying. The AI, this is something about the AI that does still need fixing. Right, there we go. This is the deal that I'm thinking is a really good idea. 
because the simple reason is that if I get him to attack everybody, surely nobody will like him, therefore everybody will denounce him, therefore I can attack him with less penalty. I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna leave you on a cliffhanger. <laughs> yes, I am being a bit of a a bit of a douche, but I'm gonna dis I'm gonna have a little think about this and then we will decide on it in time. So if you've liked the video and you are looking eagerly to the result of what we choose, whether we refuse or accept it, tell me in the comments, I'll talk to you all next time. Peace.